All right, guys, so we got a survey going on on the Tower of God website. Now, this survey is pretty much just for early development, like it says, and early gameplay. So it's going to be asking questions pretty much since it launched. Um, I'm not exactly too sure how this is going to affect things going forward if it's early gameplay, but we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm going to think of this as a survey that is literally just a survey for the game and how it's been going and stuff like that. So I'm glad they do these uh, surveys for gotcha games are always good because they can pretty much either make, I don't want to say make or break the game, but I do want to say they can make it a lot better if the devs actually listen. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. So we got the survey. What made you start playing Tower of God? I'm going to be honest. Um, I think I just searched it up or something. So I'm going to put YouTube, social media, and advertisement. How long have you been enjoying the game? Six months or more? So I've actually been playing since the start of the game. I, I, think, I, I think I started playing like a week after it launched or something like that. I'm not entirely too sure. But I know it was like it, it had to be within that week once it re like launched. So that's how long I've been playing personally. And I am above chapter 50 for the adventure stage how much time do you play spend oh been playing mobile games each day okay um mobile games like maybe in total a day <sighs> like one or two hours i really don't play that much i mean at the most like if i'm actually grinding i guess i could put three uh, constantly online that's funny um Oh, okay. I guess it's not going to let me change my answer. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't let you change your answer. Okay. We'll, we'll go with one hour or more. I really don't play mobile games a lot. I only really play uh, Dokken Battle and New uh, Tower Gun New World. Those are the only two gotcha pl games I'm playing at the moment. Everything else I don't really want to play or don't personally like. So, <laughs> I just play these two. I used to play a lot more, but gotcha games... They, they kind of suck. I'm going to be completely honest with you. If Dokken Battle wasn't Dragon Ball, I think I would have been quit. But um, Tower of God is pretty fun. It's a casual, nice little idle game that you can play. I don't take it seriously. I don't really think taking gotcha games seriously is healthy. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't think it's healthy to just like constantly be on the game 24-7. Unless it's your job. Unless it's literally how you get paid. Otherwise, I don't think it's really that great to be spending all your time on a mobile game. Uh, what genre of games do you usually prefer? So, I prefer personally either a casual or an MMORPG, not an idle RPG. If we're gonna, I'm gonna assume they're talking about gotcha games. Um, I'm gonna go with casual. Uh, I'm gonna go with casual games. I'm not like a huge gamer either. I don't really do like the games. I don't really. I honestly, I don't play games at all. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I just play mobile games. Now, once I get a PlayStation Five, that might change. I might, <laughs> I might be more of a gamer then. But I don't know. I don't really play games like that. Again, I'm gonna assume that this is only referring to mobile games. And if that's the case, I would prefer like a casual. MMR, MMORPGs are good too, but um, like I said, gotcha games, like summon games like that, whatever you want to you wanna call it, like, you know, Raid, Shadow Legends type games, they're just not fun. Like, they're not that fun to play because the rates are terrible, the prices for, like, the shop is horrible. Like, the, the gotcha games, I don't know, they're not, they're not fun. If you would have asked 15-year-old me, like, or maybe even, like, five years ago, I would have been like, oh, yeah, they're, they're cool. Like, oh, my God, like, they're the way. Now I'm listening. Eh. <laughs> like, they're all right. They're okay. How quickly did you reach Chapter 16 since you started playing? How, how I can't remember that. What the hell? How are you supposed to remember when? how quickly did you reach Chapter 16? It, it's been a year. How is anybody supposed to remember? Maybe if you consistently played you re you would remember but i don't i don't remember how long it took me to reach chapter 16 that's crazy most for most people i'm i'm gonna assume it takes a week to get to chapter 16 for most people again unless you're like buying um 
you know, you're grinding 24 seven on a game, which I don't even think you can do. I'm gonna be completely honest. Can you grind 24 seven on this game? I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think it's possible. I think you have to wait. I think you have to be patient. That's the key to this game. Uh, patience and waiting is how I play this game. I don't buy any of the super, you know, high price packages or discounts or whatever um, packs. I if I'm buying, it's gonna be really cheap. If it's a good deal, I'll get it. But like, they don't have the best deals in this game. I don't think. And I don't definitely don't think it's worth like spending forty, sixty dollars in the game. I don't I don't know. I, I just can't I don't know. I can't really justify anyone spending money on this game. I again I am not gonna tell people what to do with their money, but not it's not for me. It's not for me. Please let us know if there are any points of dissatisfaction or areas that need improvement regarding the early growth system guide or journey. Uh Shinsu. <laughs> just gonna be completely honest shinsu and gold coins like that they need to that, that's not even just a like early growth system guy that's ju just in general this shinsu and gold coins they need to seriously either make a mode where you can get them like grind gold and grind shinsu packs or something like that even if it's once a day i don't know four times a week something like that they really do need a stage for it regardless of uh revolution fragments ignition weapons and stuff like that shinsu and gold coins they severely lack in that department they they've been getting a little better with gold a little bit but shinsu i mean God, guys, they 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 suck when it comes to Shinsu. I'm giving out Shinsu is like their Achilles heel. It's just it doesn't happen, man. It really doesn't happen. All right. So, which growth elements were difficult to understand? I feel like none of these were that difficult. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really think any of these were really that difficult to understand. I mean, unless you really I'm. I mean, your your reading comprehension has to be pretty low. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to come at anybody, but your reading comprehension has to be pretty low for you not to get it. It's not that like these systems are not that difficult. Um, I mean, I I guess I'll put like the triessence because that was like sort of confusing. I guess. Um, I, I, ignition no i feel like ignition weapons were pretty simple I'll, I'll just say ignition weapons for like the you know for the fun of it but it really wasn't that hard to understand and then i i, I don't because revolution isn't hard to understand you literally click a node <laughs> like that's not terrible uh the normal weapon system is like that's a joke Exclusive equipment, no. Uh, teammates limit break, no. Um, I, I I guess I, I I guess I'll just pick revolution. I I don't know. I guess I'll just pick revolution. Not, nothing. I feel like nothing was difficult. Like, am I bugging? Am I crazy? I don't think anything was. Let me know if you guys think if any any of these were difficult in the comments below. I don't think they were difficult. I think they were pretty simple to understand. But, uh, you know, maybe some people just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, which element made you feel a strong sense of growth? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you right now. Shinsu is number one. Um, regardless of what anybody thinks, Shinsu links shinsu like growth is the number one way that you are going to get stronger in this game um obviously ignition weapons do help the individual units revolution same thing stuff like that shinsu overall is going to boost you up so shinsu i feel like is definitely number one what made me feel like the strongest sense of growth Number two, I feel like actually would probably be the ignition weapon. The ignition weapon is probably what um, second on that because they individually for a character, it is pretty good. Like pretty good. Um, I don't 
think it's hard to understand. I think it's fairly simple. Uh, I think what you get out of the ignition weapon set is powerful. I think there's a really, like, really good growth system. The last one, because you can only select three, I guess. I, I kind of want to say Origin Orb. I think I am going to pick Origin Orb. So I think Origin Orb, I would pick over all of these. Revolution is, sh it, it is it is good, but I feel like it all evens out once you get a lot of characters' revolution nodes unlocked. I feel like once you fight individual characters with their revolution unlocked, it all kind of evens out. So the growth, you do feel it, but it's not as potent if we're talking about just like overall for a unit and overall for your team. Um, it is it is a great system. I think I would probably make this like number four and then I would do teammates limit break number five. I honestly feel like the dupe system, it, it's good, but it's not like overwhelmingly like of course, it's going to make the individual unit better. That's just obviously, right? Obviously, it's going to make the individual unit stronger. But I feel like you could get, if you had high Shinsu Link, if you have good ignition weapons and in your origin orbs, like trees and uh, revolutions, nodes, even like a, an, I don't know, a purple, like a purple three limit broken character can be pretty powerful i don't know i feel like the limit break honestly it is obviously gonna make your units better it just depends on the unit i guess right so in that sense i would say is it really the, the you know an element that gives you a strong sense of growth Eh, sort of kind of which content most resulted in feeling a significant sense of growth all right well that's easy <laughs> adventure I'm going to click on that and try out Chaos and Origin. I mean, there's really no, uh, I feel like there's no other like, option. They, why would they even put these? Um, I guess if you care about PvP, it could, if you really like, I don't know, dominating over weaker opponents, like PvP, Alliance stuff, um, things where you typically need to get a high score and beat other people. But then again, you have the leaderboards for Adventure and the Trials also, so... I I I feel like all of the like the secret floor. Why would why 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 are they even the content? No, it's not. Again, it's not like what you get out of the content. It's the content itself. So the secret floor. <laughs> I mean, is it spoiler? Alert, the secret floor it does not make me feel like. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I result in a f feeling of significant growth because guess what? I can literally just auto battle it. So no, um, boss battle, I guess that's not fair though. Cause you can pretty much auto battle anything, but the secret floor is like brain dead content boss battle. No aligned content. Nah. Yeah. Adventure and trials that I don't even know why I'm going over this. It, these are literally the only two like pieces of content that really matter i'm gonna be honest yeah the secret floor matters because you can get the ignition weapons of course but as far as trying to test out units trying to see how far you've gotten in the game obviously adventure and the trials are number one and number two which resource did you fit well we can just go ahead and say shinsu <laughs> which resource did you feel was most lacking during your gameplay uh shinsu <laughs> it is Shinsu. Now, to be fair, it does go back and forth with Shinsu and gold. However, I feel like gold, they do give out gold more often than Shinsu. Link EXP, I promise you, I promise you, it does suck at the start of the game. A lot of newer players, if they do this survey, are going to pick Link EXP. I pray and I I'm asking everybody to just click on Shinsu because they need to start giving that out more. But a lot of newer players are going to pick Link EXP because in the start of the game, I have a friend right now who has no, he has no Link EXP. It is tough at the start of the game. I promise though, 
once you reach, I want to say like 200 to 300, you will have a shit ton of EXP links. Do you want to know why? Because I promise you, you are never going to have Shinsu. <laughs> you will literally never have Shinsu. Here and there, but Shinsu and gold coins, I promise you, are like the, the most scarce resources that they give out. Triessence, like crystals, they give that out a lot. Revolution fragments, th these this system just came out. Like, the system is new. I don't, it's not old. It's like two months old um, at the most, right? Like either one and a half or two months old. I can't ex remember exactly when it dropped, but it's not old. And then you have the summon tickets. I mean, yeah, summon normal summon tickets, they don't really give that out, but like I wouldn't say I, I, I don't know. I don't f feel like tickets, like summon tickets are in-game resources that you need. Yeah, you need tickets, but it's like it's just to summon. It, they're literally just to, to waste on RNG, whereas the rest of these, you can at least guarantee something out of uh, out of these six, right? You're guaranteed a link level up. You're not link level up, but you know what I mean. You're guaranteed a level up. You're guaranteed with the Shinsu to get that level up. With the coin, you're guaranteed to be able to buy stuff to link level. You're able to, with the Triassens Crystal, guess what? You're able to guarantee yourself at least some type of improvement in the uh, Triassens uh, system. The revolution and radiant revolution fragments, you're guaranteed to click a node and get it, you know, more powerful. The tickets is RNG. You're not guaranteed an SSR every time you summon. You're not guaranteed an SSR plus every time you summon. So guess what? I don't feel like you need those a lot. I feel like you need these more. A lot of players will be like, oh, but I need to summon. Um, no, you don't. I promise you, you do not need to summon as much as you think you do. Uh, I remember when I first started playing and I went on a Discord so many people, so many people were telling me because I screenshotted that I had so many tickets. They're like, oh, you bricked your account. Oh, you're not going to progress. Yada, this, that, and the third. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Uh, guess what? I have every main good SSR maxed out because um, I'm not stupid and I don't waste my tickets. So, yeah. And in the black market tickets, these these are tickets that you primarily only need to use for characters that are strong or characters that you have high dupe and maybe you want to get one more, two more, whatever, or characters that you like. I, people, I, I, people, <laughs> people don't know how to play gotchas. So I, I'm, I'm telling you, they don't know how to play gotchas. Do you feel there's enough content to play? Uh, yeah, yeah, appropriate amount of content. Uh, you could say there's too little content. I don't think there's too much content at all. You could say too little content. I think because the adventure consistently gets updated it's a way like people get power you know i don't want to say power crept but uh they get hard stopped by increases in power from the enemy you know trials are long you can only complete the color specific trials 10 times a day and stuff like that right it's a i think it's a good amount to play and then you just hop off the game i don't think they need a huge variety and plethora i mean it'd be nice but i don't think they need to keep you on the game for like seven hours i think once you do your dailies you know maybe you want to grind adventure for like 30 minutes to an hour and then you get off or something i think that's pretty good but i think there's a appropriate amount i don't think there's too little and i don't think there's too much which content did, did you find most entertaining to play i would say adventure adventure is definitely the best thing about the game i've I think it's the challenging aspect of it. A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, adventure's too hard or, oh, my God, adventure's too easy. But everybody has their different experiences with the game. Adventure, you're always going to keep wanting to go up and up and up. It's like a literal tower, which I really do enjoy. And hopefully, I might make a separate video on this. I do hope in the future for adventure maybe even trials they add mission based content because if they add missions to adventures let's say they you do they do a separate adventure and you have to start all the way from floor one again and they have missions for every maybe every four like how you go through bosses every four stages they have missions and it's you have to i don't know 
beat this with three tanks, one warrior, and a red support. Something like that. I think it would be really fun and challenging if they did um, did another like tower mode that's parallel to one you're already on, but with missions. That would be really dope. I think they really should do that. What do you think needs the most improvement in the conquest content? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be real. I don't play conquest. I literally just do auto clear it, and that's it. I I don't even remember the last time I actually went into the conquest. It it's it, it's kind of dumb. Like the conquest mode in itself, I don't really enjoy doing it. They could improve on it, I guess, but I have no, like, opinion on this. I'm going to say the turn-based system, the movement and combat method, and I guess the types and acquisitions buff cards, right? I don't, I don't really care about Conquest, to be honest. Based on your current play experience, which content would you like to see in the future? Team-based PvP using the original IP. And I don't care about PvP. No, one v one P or one on one PvP with real time picks and oh, okay, that's actually pretty fun. That's actually pretty fun. If they do like real time picks and ban systems, that's like that. That's pretty cool, actually. That's like kind of like some Overwatch type of stuff. Okay, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Uh, but I, again, I don't like PvP, so I wouldn't pick that. Roguelike, roguelike content for repeated play. I don't know what they mean by that. Async, asynchronous raid content for many players to cooperate. That sounds fun, actually. That does sound pretty fun. Um, so basically, what they, I think what they mean by this is kind of how they're going to do a world boss. It's not like synchronized, like everybody has to be on it all at once, but it is a content, uh, like a co-op based boss. That actually sounds pretty good too, to keep doing that, updating that consistently. Treasure hunt, exploring fields for rewards. That sounds like an idle type of thing and I don't care for it too much. Roguelike content. I wanna know what they mean by this. I want to know what they mean by that, so I'm gonna pick roguelike content. Again, if if it's like what I mentioned, where they add missions to the adventure stages, that that would be dope. That would be dope. Please let us know if there's any points of dissatisfaction or areas any improvement regarding content. Ooh, I'm gonna put mission based content for adventure venture or trials yes yes i like that please add missions to these types of content similar similarly to or i guess i should say similar to guardians test i do like that that is what i'm putting as my answer what do you think is the most enjoyable aspect of the game right now i would probably say yeah the sense of accomplishment clearing uh challenging chapters that that would be my first pick i think my second pick would actually be the experience of strengthening characters and stats because with this type of game, instead of individually going to every character and level it up, like, you know, every other gacha game, this game actually does it pretty good. I do like the Shinsu system, regardless of how scarce the Shinsu links are. I do like the actual link system that this game has. I just wish they gave out more Shinsu packs. That's my only concern, right? The Shinsu packs are what really kills it for me. But... I do like the, you know, the strengthening characters through the ignition weapons and stuff like that. I don't think there's any rush to beat other people unless you're absolutely competitive and spending money. I think this is a nice idle game. People tend to want to rush into every piece of content, beat it, and then be like, oh, I'm bored. That's not, you shouldn't play gotcha games like that unless they're meant to be played 
as such. This is not this is not a console game. This is not a Steam game. It's a gotcha. Like you're supposed to enjoy it. And people summon way too much. I feel like people just summon because they can. I, I swear. P- please let us know if you experience any inconvenient circumstances while playing. Uh, not typically, no. Please let us know if there's any suggestions or wishes. Um, so you know what I'm going to put? Oh, you can't. Oh, those mother. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy and paste. Yeah. I would really like to see this. I really would. So that's going to be it for this survey. I'm going to go ahead and submit it right now. And yeah, make sure you guys do actually, where, where'd it go? I, I, okay. I guess that's, I, I guess that's it. Oh, there we go. Make sure you guys do participate in this survey, please. Um, it's always nice. And they really do listen. This is probably the best dev team of any gacha game I've played. They really do listen. And they're fast with their promises and everything like that. But make sure you guys do the survey. You can get a couple of rewards. Nothing too crazy. Ten keys. Uh, ten enhancement stuff. And uh, gift selection times 100. Nothing crazy. No tickets. No black market tickets. Um, you know, radiant fragments. But just overall, some some stuff you can get. But really, the survey is the most important part. This video is pretty long, actually. I didn't think it was going to be this long, but, you know, I was yapping away. But go ahead, guys, and leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, you already know, I will see you all later.